Or Stephen Moore is joining us. He's a fellow of the Heritage Foundation, senior economic uh, contributor with Freedom Works, uh, and he is part of a new coalition. By the way, he still is advising the Trump administration on uh, economics. And Trump wanted him to be our Fed chair. Would have loved that. Um, but uh, he's also part of a coalition now called Save Our Country. Uh, and Stephen is here to talk about uh, what's happening in the country and what and 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 how this organization can help. Stephen, how are you? I, hi, Glenn. Good to be with you. By the way, you are spot on correct. You know this this bill to keep providing money to the states and cities. This is all. This is you were so right about this. It's just enabling. We're enabling these states and cities to stay closed. The worst thing we could do right oh. now is to encourage them to do that. And I want to say one other thing because I feel so passionately about it. You are so correct about Governor Newsom in California. What he said the other day was this is like hostage taking, right? We're going to shut oh, down yeah. the health care system. We're going to shut down police and fire. We're not going to do anything about the pensions. We're not going to do anything about the age of the illegal immigrants. We're not going to do anything about, you know, all of the other waste in, 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 the, 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 in the California budget. We're going we're gonna to cut the things that, that the people depend on most. And Washington, Donald Trump never fall for that kind of hostage taking. And, and the people in California should be outraged by that kind of uh, uh, policy. So, Stephen, there are people all over the country. I just talked to another woman. Uh, her name is Lindsey Graham, not, not related. Uh, she's up in Oregon. She had uh, OSHA, the uh, business licensing, the health department, uh -huh. and the Department of Child Protection Services show up at her house because she opened her salon. Th th this is oh, way think, out of I've control. Heard I've heard about this story. Yeah. And and, uh, and it's crazy. Is, uh, it, it, it is, the, you know, I, it's Orwellian. It's Orwellian. I feel like sometimes we're living in the old Soviet Union right now. And the left. I do too. I do too. What, what, whatever happened to liberals who used to care about the civil liberties of, of people and, uh, and constitutional rights of people? And, and I, I am so outraged by that as well. We have to take our country back. We have to allow people to make their own decisions, not have politicians make decisions for them. Incidentally, I just finished the study, Glenn, so, uh, that shows that if we were to pass anything close to the new Pelosi $3 trillion bill, which also is an abomination for her to, hear, her to use a health emergency to, uh, to yeah, opportunistically to pass you know, all this uh, stuff that has nothing to do with health, the National Endowment for the Arts and Environmental Justice Grants and bailouts of the Illinois pension. Uh, but we're finding that if they were to pass anything like that bill, the federal the United States government today would be larger than the entire private sector of America. Every business, every worker output. Oh, my gosh. Than government. That's 52 percent of GDP. Even socialist countries don't have governments that big. We have got to stop the spending. Uh, the idea that another spending bill is going to help the economy. No, Glenn, the spending bills the Congress is passing are hurting the economy, not helping them, especially when you're paying people in 31 states more money not to work than to get a job. Oh, it's ridiculous. So, Stephen, first of all, we said we were going to uh, flatten the curve, and we're all for that. Let's not stress out our hospitals, et cetera, et cetera. We're, we're way past that now. Uh, and it is, it's very clear to at least half the country uh, that this is, uh, this is benefiting uh, those who want uh, big government and uh, oppressive uh, sort of regulation. Now, the president went the other way yesterday. Tell me about his Bill of Rights. Well, this was great. He he pa basically passed a, a, a sweeping deregulation plan that uh, is is, uh, is going to help the economy a lot. And uh, this is um, in addition to the fact that he also wants to. The one thing I feel, and the, the, I've talked to the president about this. He's all fully on board. This, you know, you're, our mutual friend Art Laffer loves this idea. Steve Forbes loves the idea. Yeah. Uh, of suspending the payroll tax for the rest of the year, this would actually help every single business. Every single yes. small business in America would get a 7.5% reduction Everyone. in their payroll cost. You know that, uh, you know, you're, you're, yourself. You're a small business, well, a medium sized businessman yourself. Be huge. You, you hire the, the you have a seven, Sorry? Yeah, the investment that you could make if you were doing well or the money you could save if you were on the line would be enormous. It's the best. Thing. It's, it's the only thing, really, that I think the government should have done in the first place. Um, I agree. You know, By the they, way, this would put 
this this would put seven and a half for even for a minimum wage worker. I thought I thought uh, Nancy Pelosi cared so much about low income workers. They would have immediately, immediately, starting May fifteenth, a a seven and a half percent increase in their pay. Every worker would have seven and a half percent rise. That would encourage work. It would allow them to put that money right on Main Street. And the thing we've got to get all your listeners, all the people around the country saying is don't give the money to the politicians. Pelosi wants to give it to mayors and governors. Give it right to the people. Give it right to the businesses. They're the ones who produce. Right. So, so Stephen, the the, the regulatory bill of rights that he put in an executive order yesterday, what is this going to do exactly? It's going to get. It's going to uh, require uh, these agencies to review all of their regulations, and if they don't pass muster, to suspend them. You know, Trump rebuilt the economy. People forget. Just two months ago, <laughs> we had the best economy in 30 years. And how did that happen? Well, you know, I had a small part in, in helping get that tax bill passed, which was right. a phenomenal success. And then he, we, we cut the regulations. We cut the red tape. We let uh, businesses do their thing. And my God, it's amazing. Two months ago, we had six and a half million surplus jobs in this country. Now we have 35 million people unemployed. I, I got to say this, Glenn. I think that history books are going to look back at what we've done in the last three months, and they're going to. It's going to be nearly unanimous. It was the great, one of the greatest mistakes our nation has ever made. Oh, I, I. Hundred and ten percent. And I want to I want to switch gears here with you. I'm going to take a quick break and then come back. But I want to switch gears on this. Um, it, it not only is it the greatest mistake, it is also the greatest opportunity. Now, the left is using this for an opportunity to reshape the world and into a more draconian sort of uh, rule all around the world. But I think if we are not pushing back with our own agenda and that is more America not less, more to the people, not less. Give people back their rights to be free and to create. It could be also the biggest mistake and the biggest opportunity because I think we could, if we're smart, and then Donald Trump becomes the steamroller that I know he can be, this thing could just take right back off again. But it's going to take real opening of... uh, of some of these regulations and and taxes to spur it on.